get my hair done on a daily basis. That would be in my own bathroom. A lot of you have been asking how I do my hair and I am about to show you almost from the start. It starts in the shower. We're not gonna start there. But from when I wake up in the morning with dry hair and everything that leads to this. So keep on watching and I'll show you what I do. Okay, starting from the beginning, we would have started last night. I take a shower usually at night and let my hair air dry. I will comb it through before I just hop into bed with my wet brush. Is that what it's called? Yes, the wet brush. And then I will put in some kind of styling cream. Usually I spray with the Aveda. I can't remember the name of anything right now. I have no idea why, but I'll link it below. Just like the uh, detangler protectant spray and then I run a little bit of the smooth infusion styling cream which is new and I really like it um, I will admit though in complete transparency I was so tired last night I just brushed it out to get the tangles and went to bed I put nothing in it I have already brushed it through let me do a quick brush so this is in its natural brushed out state which is bizarre so this is a two-step process first I straighten my hair not all of it just concentrating on the roots, the crown back here, so that when I do curl, it's more uniform, and then we curl. So the first thing I do is, um, I don't even section off my hair for the most part when I do the straightener. I have been using for quite a while now the GHD Classic One Inch Styler. They've come out with some new ones that I'm pretty curious to try, but honestly, they're expensive, and I'm just gonna wait for this to break, and it hasn't yet. So I just go around like where my part is, Make sure everything, just the first, you know, three to four inches, just to make sure everything's gonna lay flat. Cause my hair gets kind of weird and kinky just around the hairline area. And go over that a few times. See how it just lays better. And I'll do the same just all over here. I'm looking in the mirror over there. I can't see. My viewfinder's this big. Who can see that? Nobody. Um, and I'll just make sure I get any obvious kinks out of the way and go along. Now I will pull my hair up to do just along the base of my neck because that gets weird and very kinky. And for that, I just kind of run my fingers along. Don't do anything special. I love the Hot Tools clips. They're still the best. I get mine at Ulta. And then I'll just kind of go along the hairline here. Okay, so I've gotten rid of, for the most part, the kinks. I can always go back and fix. And now, I think this is laying kind of funky back here. We'll see how that goes. Um, now for the curling part. This was sent to me to review, gosh, months ago, um, along with another curling iron that I didn't care for. But this one I love. I believe it's called the Body Waver. It's huge. It's, a, it's supposed to simulate the look of a blowout without doing the blowout. Um, because I can do this, but I still can't do a really good blowout. It's hollow in the middle, which is funky. And the power setting is down here, which I like because you don't accidentally... I always find with traditional curling irons that have the temperature and on-off button up here that I always ding it and either turn it off or crank it up. So I do like this little feature. Got a little um, getting used to. You just spin the dial and it lights up where... I usually keep mine at, out of a five light setting, I keep it around three, sometimes a four. So what I do is just section off my hair, depends how much of a hurry I'm in, but usually three, sometimes four sections, and I just start from the bottom, and hopefully I'm in frame, and I just pin it up out of the way. And it looks like a lot as I'm talking you through it, but when you do it on a regular basis, you can just whip through this in about 10 minutes. And then I just comb it out one more time. And then I split it in half. Very Pippi Long stockings. Um, at this point, I should probably put some heat protectant in, at least on my ends, but I didn't. I'll do that at the end. Um, okay, so let's just, because this is just eyeballing it. There's no right or wrong here. I'm thinking two sections. So the first section that's always closest to my head, I always do the same way. I do it pointing away from me. So I kind of run through once. It gets really hot though. And I put it about pretty much to the length of, okay, I'm gonna set my hair on fire. I put it about where I stopped with the straightening iron. So I'm really not going over the same area twice. And I just curl it around and keep opening it up 
and I do get the ends and then I just let it go. That's it. And then the trick that I've talked about before, but I'll say it again because I can't believe it took me forever to just do it, is then the next section, I curl in the opposite direction. <laughs> Sounds so simple and obvious, and yet obviously it wasn't obvious to me because I only started doing it this summer. So I just run it through real quick and it's curling towards my head and I just go through. I don't keep it on there and I just let it go. And it's just a gentle wave. It's not a ringlet or a curl. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Hot. This is really hot. You kind of work fast or you will set your hair on fire. Actually, I don't know if you will actually set it on fire, but let's not test that theory, shall we? And then I don't run my fingers through it or anything until it's totally cool. And then, um, so this, those are just gonna stay put. And then I go to the next layer and I usually do level with my eyebrows. Just put my fingers at the tail of my eyebrows, wherever those are today. And then section off. Obviously the more layers you do, the more volume, the more bounce, the more definition, but I have been known to only do the top layer if I'm in a huge hurry. And then, you know, you can see what's already been done. It's easy to pick out. This is all not curled. So we'll just start here and do the same thing. You do about half the head in one direction and half the head on the other side. So I'll come back when I've done this layer. Done all the layers and all that's left is the crown, the top, the bangs. I don't have bangs, but if they were bangs, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Anyway, that's here. I haven't run my fingers through anything, but you can see it's not curls. It's just kind of that. <sighs> what are you doing, Marty? Okay, um, so just let it down. And that's where it parted, so we're gonna go with that. And again, nothing particularly special. I'll do, I always start on the left, but for you guys, I'm gonna start on the right, which may make things hard. But this is sort of the swoopy part of my hair. If I had bangs, these would be them. And we're just gonna take that chunk of it and brush out the knots. Sorry, I'm reading your Instagram posts as they're coming in, your comments on Jake's options for college. It's pretty funny. Alabama seems to be in the lead with you guys. Okay, so just taking this, same concept, nothing to, I will say the one drawback of this thing, and I kind of pull it back a little. How about that? That's the only difference. And just let it go. That's it. The only drawback I found to this, other than it gets ridiculously hot, and if I do rush, I burn the top of my ears, is that the clamp is really strong. So sometimes I'll get that bend, that line. So you gotta kinda work quickly. And then that piece is fine. And then this piece, we'll just do it the other way. Run through real quick. See, I'm gonna get a line, I think, and let it linger. Let's see what happens. Just work it through. No line. So that's it. Here's a little straggler. Kind of sad, but we'll get him in there. I do go all the way up to the top on the top layer. I'll do this side and then I'll show you what I do at the end. This is it. Now to finish it up, really tough. Take your fingers. <laughs> and this is all I do. Just kind of zhuzh it and there you go. I do use a little bit of dry remedy on the roots. Not the roots, that would be bad, don't do that. On the ends, just, it doesn't smell great. It has like sort of an herbal scent. It's not a bad scent, but it's not like, you know, amazing. Kind of run that through the lower bit. I also use, my stylist told me about this, this was brilliant. The Veda Light Elements Smoothing Fluid. I get a lot of those little baby hairs. So I just do a tiny drop, not a pea drop. More like a pencil eraser drop. Really get it on there. And then I just kind of gently, I just skim the tops and then some more. Don't get too on the roots or you'll be greasy but get those 
those roots. Those roots are crunchy. Why do I call them roots? They're ends, Martin, they're ends. That's it. If you want to throw some hairspray on, go for it. I never do. I always forget, unless it's something important. Um, you can put a little dry shampoo in if you want to get a little more volume. Dove, I need another bottle. I'm almost out of this. this is the second or third one. I just literally sprayed my eye. I sprayed my eye. Did you guys see that? Ow. Gives dry eye a whole new meaning. Anyway, that's it. This lasts me until I wash my hair, pretty much. Three, four days. I have dry hair naturally, so this will last a while, so it's definitely worth the effort. So let me know what you think. Um, I will admit, this looks very much like other large barrel um, curling irons, but it works differently. My curls last much, it must be the heat, and something about the ceramics and the design, because my waves last longer. I will admit it's a pricey investment, but you buy it once, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than getting your hair blown out every week. So, I use the, every time you see my hair looking good, one of two things has happened. I've either had my hair done at the salon, or I've used this thing. So I will say it's definitely worth the investment. I love it. Let me know what y'all think. And um, this is the extent of my hair expertise, so this is it for tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. We are filming the answers to your questions. I have the Instagram feed here. This had the most questions. And I'm just going to fire stuff out at Michael, and off the cuff, he's going to answer as